Welcome back everybody. I am the Jimmer and this is the Battle Wagon Smash. This is going to be episode 33. We've got the Pain Train by Chromoid taking on Operation Hatred Engine by Stoic Steve. Got uh, everybody loaded in, all the standard settings. I'm going to go ahead and kick this off, do a quick introduction, and then we'll get the battle right underway. It's taking a little while to load. Hopefully it's not crashing. There it goes. Oh, that's right. Uh, I think both of these give me a little bit of lag from the uh, the laser parts. Or maybe it's just yeah, it's just the hatred engine. I think it's just like the something something with the laser parts, or maybe like I, I don't know. But for for whatever reason, uh, laser laser craft. Leg out my PC. This is the Pain Train by Chromoid. It's actually this is like the main vehicle, and then these, um, the, the the engine and the caboose are um, actually turrets. A very unique design. Gotta get a uh, picture of that grill, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll get to see it uh, take a bite out of the Hatred engine. I believe the Hatred engine also likes to move forward, if I remember correctly. So maybe we'll actually get to see a uh, ramming situation. I believe this is a suicide craft. I uh, want to say it one, at least one more time before I forget. This is a Hatred Engine by Stoic Steve. Got the two little murder masks along with it. Last time I think these just got uh, blown up fairly quickly. So we didn't get to see a whole lot of them. And I, I do believe this is a uh, yeah, little suicide craft there. Let's go ahead and get this unpaused. Get the battle going. The avatar out of the action, and there we go. Looks like we're gonna catch everything before uh, the, the shots start to fire. Oh man, that suicide craft got focused right away. You can see the uh, the cannon looks like it was set to target the uh, smallest vehicle or something like that. Looks like we're gonna see the uh, the murder masks fire away here. Let's have a uh, pretty surprisingly rapid um, rate of fire. That's a huge plume of smoke from the nuke. Oh, looks like the pain train's taking some damage here. Pain train down to 94. Um, Hatred engine at 97 overall. Oh, and here come the, the missiles, though. These could make a difference. Yeah, we're only uh, actual 15 seconds of simulation time here. This is really crawling. There you can see the, uh, <laughs> the murder masks. Just turn into absolute rockets. The thing is still flying up into the air. And uh, here's some comes some missiles in. I imagine this will probably follow suit. Nope, looks like able to uh, take those shots. Take those shots right on the heavy armor face. Let's take a look at the hatred engine. Hatred engine itself is at 99. Overall, the team is 93. Paint train down to 87. Yeah, it looks like these shots aren't uh, breaking all the way through. They're getting through the uh, first layer of heavy armor, but then uh, getting stopped by the stone. Oh man, that is so loud. Yeah, it looks like there is something wrong with the uh, the pain train. Chromoid was saying uh, it's like a glitch where if you like save it on one computer and then load it on another, 
the uh, the wheels are getting uh, flipped around, so they're meant to be going forwards. But uh, due to that glitch, it's um, actually moving it uh, backwards and uh, away from the ramp. But I think I don't think it's all that bad in this situation. It seems to be doing all right. It's taking quite a bit of laser damage, but so far nothing really critical. It's like mostly damage to like the armor. All of its main systems are still in line. It's still doing damage back. There we go. Looks like we lost, finally lost the last murder masks. So just down to the two capital ships now. Hadrid Engine is at 96, Pain Train at 81. If you look at the, uh, the team scores, it's much closer. I think the, the pain train still has a pretty good chance here. If it's able to uh, break through and start damaging those lasers, that's rapidly going to decrease the uh, the damage output of the Hadrid engine. That said, it is it is behind. And uh, if things keep going the way they are, the Hadrid engine will most certainly win this. Oh, why don't I have... Why isn't my music going? There we go. Maybe something was a little bit off there, so yeah, sorry for the, uh, the awkward, uh, quiet background there. We'll have some, uh, some tunes for the rest of this battle. Only a, a minute and 20 seconds of, uh, simulation time. I don't think this one's gonna make it all the way to the, uh, 10 minute time, time limit though. This is, this, both these craft are taking a lot of damage. I'm just surprised how uh, well the Hadrid engine is able to, it's, it's just, it has to be over a thousand missiles at this point, and it's just taking them right to the face. I don't see any lambs or anything, and doing just fine. See that uh, heavy armor and stone still standing up. If nothing else, the uh, Hatred Engine has certainly wiped the smile off the face of the pain train. Pretty much all of this front end is gone. I haven't seen that gunfire in a long time. I imagine it is likely disabled. Yeah, you can see the, um, the laser got around to the side. And uh, just doesn't seem to be able to function any longer. The missiles are still online though, and I believe these cannons, oh, it looks like these cannons have taken some damage as well. Lost. I believe there were some turrets here originally that have been taken out. The missile spam is still running though. And I really think just a little bit of damage gets through and it starts to damage those lasers. We're going to see a pretty quick turnaround. But the uh, the pain train really running out of time to turn it around all the way down to 75%. Hadrid engine overall still hanging out about 87%. Both sides starting to eat into their resources. But uh, if they, even if they go at this rate, they should have more than enough uh, resources to last the full 10 minutes. Wow, oh, that's just so loud once you get close. It's, it's packed with engines. See all of these engines in here. That might actually be what is. Uh, causing the lag is the uh, the engines with these uh, laser craft all have to have absolutely massive engines with uh, long exhaust networks. 
think there is a little bit of a performance drop associated with that. Pain Train all the way down to 68%. Hatred Engine still right about 88%. Yeah, it looks like the laser is starting to cut through the uh, first train car there, the main part of the pain train vehicle. See the front is pretty much gone, and oh, it looks like an ammo store going up there. Yeah, and then this middle, middle vehicle is not gone, but pretty much uh, completely disabled, and just the missiles left. Looks like the missile car, or the, nope, no, even, the laser's even getting into the missiles now. Just a little bit. And there we go, there is the two damaged. So unfortunately, Chromoid is eliminated. My condolences, really enjoyed the uh, the pain train. One of the more uh, creative entries as far as mechanics go. And uh, just a cool design overall. And congratulations to Stoic Steve, Patriot Engine, uh, dominantly winning this. Uh, lost its sub-vehicles, but the, the main vehicle it's almost fully healed, so a really strong win here. Moving on to the next round. That's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode.